Hello dear students. In the previous classes we learned about materials, how to sort out them, what are the properties we use for sorting out. We have already discussed five properties. Today we will discuss two more properties which will help you to sort out things. So today's first property is magnetic property. What is a magnet? Have you seen a magnet? Most of you might have seen. Right? What is a magnet? Magnet is a substance which attract iron. Okay. Magnet is a substance that attracts iron or some materials or objects which are made up of iron or some other metals also. Nickel, cobalt, all such things. They get attracted towards iron. Sorry, towards magnet. So, magnet is a special substance which attract mostly iron towards it. Okay. Now, if you divide the things around us into two groups, the things which get attracted towards iron, they are magnetic substances. All the magnetic substances get attracted towards iron. Sorry, towards magnet. And the other group is non-magnetic substances. Non-magnetic substances do not get attracted towards magnet. So, what, what are the two groups? Magnetic substances and non-magnetic substances. So, what are no magnetic substances or magnetic materials are? What are they called? Magnetic materials. And the other group is non-magnetic materials. What are magnetic materials? Magnetic materials are the materials that get attracted towards the magnet. Usually the things which are made up of or the objects which are made up of iron, nickel, cobalt. All these things they get attracted towards magnet. You may not be aware of or you may not have heard the names of nickel and cobalt. They are also some metals. For the time being, if you know that much, it is enough. Just like iron, cobalt and nickel are also some type of uh, metals. Now, non-magnetic materials are so many around us. Like plastic, rubber, glass, all these things, they don't get attracted towards magnet. So, such things are called non-magnetic materials. So, what are the two groups? First, you have to learn about what is magnet. Magnet is a special substance which attract iron or things made up of iron. Okay. Now, the things around us can be divided into two groups. Which are the two groups? Magnetic substances and non-magnetic substances. Magnetic substances, they get attracted towards mag magnet. And non-magnetic substances do not get attracted towards the magnet. So usually which uh, substances get or which uh, objects get attracted towards magnet? The objects which are made up of iron, nickel or cobalt, they get attracted towards the magnet. And the materials which are made up of glass, rubber, plastic, all these things, they do not get attract, attracted towards magnet. So, they are called non-magnetic materials. Now, the next property is conductivity. What is conductivity? Conductivity is the ability to pass heat or electricity through a material. Some of the objects or some of the materials around you will allow heat and electricity to pass through them. Some of them will not allow heat and electricity to pass through them. So, the things can be divided again into two groups. The materials which will allow the heat and light to pass through it and the materials which will not allow heat and light to, sorry, heat and electricity to pass through them. Okay, now conductors. What are conductors? Conductors are the materials which will allow the heat and electricity to pass through them. And the substances or the materials which will not allow heat and light to pass through them 
they are called insulators okay what are they called they are called insulators we also say good conductors and bad conductors also okay conductors are also called good conductors and insulators are called bad conductors bad conductors means which will not allow them to uh, pass heat and electricity through them so what are the new words which we learned conductivity conductivity is the ability to pass heat and electricity through them and according to the ability to pass heat and electricity through a material the materials can be divided into two groups which are the two groups conductors and insulators what are conductors conductors are the group of materials which will allow heat and heat and electricity to pass through them and insulators are the group of substances or the group of material which will not allow heat and electricity to pass through them now the conductors are of two types okay even insulators are also of two types what are the two types of conductors conductors of heat and conductors of electricity so conductors can be again divided into two groups conductors of heat and conductors of electricity conductors of heat will allow heat to pass through them which we have just now discussed almost all the metals are good conductors of heat now at home you might have seen cooker or frying pans all they have they are made up of uh, metals but they will have a handle which is made up of some other materials plastic or something like that even wooden why is it so because they are non conductors of heat they are insulators of heat so insulators of heat are the materials which will not allow heat to pass through them example air glass paper wood all these are insulators of heat now similarly just like conductors of heat there are conductors of electricity conductor conductors of electricity will allow electricity to pass through them again almost all the metals are good conductors of heat but depending upon the nature of the uh, metal the amount of electricity passing through them or the rate of electricity passing through them the conductivity will be changed or it will be it will vary okay some of them have very good conductivity some of them will have less conductivity now insulators of electricity do not allow them to uh, do not allow electricity to pass through them which are the example plastic rubber and wood see at your home wiring will be there all if you see a wire it is covered with plastic okay what is the reason because it is a non conductor of electricity if it is open inside that the conductor wires will be there which will be taking electricity and by mistake if you touch you will get shocked okay so to avoid dangers it is always covered with plastic or rubber okay now with this topic this chapter gets over so in the next class we will discuss the exercises or um, the textual exercises as well as uh, the activities of this chapter that's all for today thank you mm -hmm.